hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel today in this video we will see how to apply noise or film grain effect to digital photos in photoshop film grains are the presence of small particles textures which we used to find in old photographs that were developed from the negatives but nowadays uh, in digital photographs we cannot see those film grains nevertheless if you want to show those film grains then you can use photoshop so let's get started let me open a picture in photoshop it will be better if you use a black and white picture so let me open the picture of the dog in photoshop okay now i need to create a new layer so that i can apply effect on the new layer in order to create a new layer just press ctrl shift and n now why you want to apply effect on the new layer is because if there is any problem you can always get back the original image so name the layer as film grain or anything which you want and under mode select overlay and select these options fill with overlay neutral color okay now you'll see a layer with gray background now the second step is let me convert this layer into a smart object right click on this layer and select convert to smart object now why we are converting this layer into a smart object is because whatever effects I will apply on this layer I can uh, edit those effect manually or individually now let me apply the effect noise effect I'll go to filter noise and add noise now here you can select how much percentage of noise you want to apply and it depends upon the picture just slide it will increase the uh, noise you need to make sure you apply that much amount of noise which looks natural suppose I'm applying this 11% or I can go up to okay let's see how much is suitable okay maybe I can apply like 9 percentage and under distribution you can you have to always select this Gaussian blur and select monochromatic black and white and click in OK now you can see there are small particles small dust like particles which appears on this picture now let me again go to filter blur and Gaussian blur so so that why we use this Gaussian blur is because this noise which are there it will spread evenly evenly when you use this Gaussian blur and it looks normal so under this Gaussian blur you can see the radius 0 0.1 just increase or decrease the radius whichever is suitable if I increase right now here you cannot see this uh, noise effect so let me go on decreasing it seems as if 0 0.1 is suitable for this uh, for the effect then let me click on OK now you can see I have a small uh, dust light particles or noise which is on the on this picture if I turn off this effect I can see the original one which is very smooth and if I turn it on I can see the small particles or the noise on the photo so this is how we can apply film grain effect in Photoshop thank you for watching this tutorial please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel for more tips and tricks thank you